Hello and welcome to the Granite Desk. I'm Ranger Simone, coming to you from Joshua Tree National Park. In today's broadcast, we're going to learn about desert adaptations and how animals survive in this harsh environment. Ranger Sarah Jane is looking for animals. What do you think she found? Um, I haven't seen any wild animals. Are we sure they live here? It's a national park. Of course animals live here. Desert animals can be elusive, so I'm not surprised you haven't seen any yet. But I bet if we look closely, we can see signs of them all around. What clues do you see? Look, here's part of a plant someone's been chewing on. Here's a piece of poop. And here's a burrow that someone dug. So the animals are definitely here, even if I'm not seeing them. Let's meet Ranger Bill to learn more about the unique creatures who live in the desert. Joshua Tree National Park does in fact have a wide variety of animals. There are 57 species of mammals. Animals like the bighorn sheep, bobcats, and ground squirrels. There are 46 species of reptiles, including lizards, snakes, and the desert tortoise. And we've observed over 250 bird species within the park. However, it's not easy to live here. Animals must cope with hot and dry conditions. In the summertime, it can get up to 115 degrees, and we can go months without receiving any rain. So how the heck do the animals survive here? One strategy is being nocturnal, meaning they're mainly active at night, or by being crepuscular, which means they're mainly active around sunrise and sunset. Many animals do this to avoid the heat of the day, like foxes, ringtails, and coyotes. This is one reason why Sarah Jane might not be seeing any animals right now. Some animals have underground burrows, like this one here, where they can stay cool during the day, kind of like us humans like to hang out in our air-conditioned homes when it gets too hot outside. Desert tortoises will spend most of the summertime in their burrows. They might only come out during the occasional rainstorm to grab a drink of water. Many animals have unique adaptations to help them cope with the tough conditions. They're kind of like their own superpowers. Jackrabbits have very large ears with blood vessels just under their exposed skin. When it gets hot out, they can actually increase the blood flow to their ears and shed heat. In the summertime, bighorn sheep can go three to seven days with no water. They'll travel for miles to find water, and when they do, they can drink gallons at a time. Some animals can get most of the water they need from the food they eat, whether that's seeds, insects, and even lizards and mice. Turkey vultures have one of the weirdest ways to cool off. They'll actually pee on their own legs and feet when they're too hot. Ew, don't try that one at home. So as you can see, desert animals have different ways of surviving, whether it's coming out at night, chilling in their burrows, or using their special adaptations. Jeez, and to think in the summertime, I mainly just eat ice cream and run through the sprinklers to stay cool. This has been Ranger Bill reporting for the Granite Desk. Back to you. Thanks, Ranger Bill. Sounds like we can learn a lot from wild animals. They're pretty clever at finding ways to survive in the desert's extreme environment. But the climate is changing. Over the past 100 years, Joshua Tree has gotten hotter and experienced more droughts than it has in the past. The ways the animals here cope with these changing conditions can help scientists learn how nature might respond to a hotter, drier future. The animals that live here might need to adapt, change their behavior, or find a new home. Think about the animals where you live. How do they deal with the heat or cold? What times of day are they most active? If you don't see animals, do you see any signs that they've left behind? Thanks again for joining us on another Granite Dusk adventure. What, what will we, we explore, explore next? next?